Disasters are growing in number, scale, severity and complexity, affecting an average of 350 million people every year. Advances in science, technology and humanitarian coordination mean that we can now see hazards coming days, weeks or even months in advance. This should mean humanitarians have time to act before a crisis occurs. And yet humanitarian crises are affecting more people and for longer. If crises are increasingly predictable, why aren't we acting earlier? Funding is slow, reactive and response-focused. And early warning information can be hard to interpret and share, especially with people on the ground. This leaves communities exposed to unnecessary risk. We believe that we can and must do better. Start Network, IFRC, FAO, WFP and OCHA are among the humanitarian actors working with experts, scientists and crisis-affected communities to forge a more proactive future. A pilot project rolled out in December 2018 used flood forecasting to trigger early action in Bangladesh. This included mobile cash transfers to the most vulnerable. Earlier that year, an analysis of the reliability of heatwave forecasts in Pakistan allowed Start Network members to raise a timely alert and to release funding to educate people in Karachi on how to protect themselves from extreme heat. In Peru, a five-day snow forecast was combined with existing data on vulnerability to design and implement protective measures for vulnerable communities and their livestock. Following the recent Ebola outbreak in DRC, $10 million was released for regional anticipatory action. This enabled time-critical activities by UN agencies and their partners, including positioning supplies, training health workers, and bolstering risk communication and logistics services. In 2017, humanitarians were able to support the most vulnerable herders in Mongolia due to an early warning that extreme winter temperatures would exacerbate a shortage of forage after a hot, dry summer. Animal feed and nutrients were supplied in advance along with a controlled destocking for cash program. From severe winters in Mongolia, drought in the Philippines, election violence in Kenya, and the Ebola outbreak in DRC, agencies are collaborating to act early. We are building a more proactive humanitarian system by brokering partnerships between forecasters and humanitarians, consistently collaborating on risk analysis, developing and resourcing contingency plans, pre-agreeing reliable adaptive financing and being willing to act under uncertainty. Together we can act earlier and in a more targeted way to reduce the impact of crises or even prevent them from happening at all.